guys, it's Maddie, and welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. So today, I am bringing you my 2020 bookshelf tour. Yeah, I'm not excited to film this because it's going to take a lot of work to film and edit, and I'm not happy about that. But, um, I actually got a person who commented and they requested that I do a bookshelf tour, and I was like, well, since you requested it, I will do it because it finally pushes me to do it. So basically, I have 162 books, exactly, and this is my shelves. I got these shelves from Waverly, I think. I don't know what they're called, but if I can figure it out, I will put in the description box what they're called and the website where I found them off of. And I have three of them. I have one here, which you guys can see, but this is doesn't have any books on it. I have this one, and then I have my main one, which is in all of my videos. I will also be going over where I got all of my uh, trinkets and knickknacks. I have quite a few on here, so I will go over those for you guys as well. So, yeah, if you guys have any other questions about anything else on here, you can leave it in the comment section, and I will do my best to answer them as well as I can. Anyway, let's start my bookshelf tour. We're going to start over here because it's got the least amount of books. So, yay! So, this is the first shelf that has books. It's actually the second shelf on this bookshelf. And it only has four books. First off, though, it has this plushie. This is an Olaf plushie that my, we had at Walmart. I saw all it, and I asked my mom to get it for me. And it's super soft, and yeah, it just sits on my bookshelf. as a cute little, like, addition to them. Then I have this Illumicrate book box um, exclusive, uh, like, pin. It's like a magnetic pin, and this is supposed to be Katniss from The Hunger Games. Then I have this rock that I don't know where I got it from, but I've had it for a long time, so it's just on my shelf as well. And then you have the books. So the first book on this shelf is the special edition, like I think it's the 10th anniversary edition of The Hunger Games, of Catching Fire, and of Mockingjay. And then you have my movie edition of The Hate You Give, who has the actor who plays Star in the movie on the cover. The next shelf you have is my middle grade shelf. Starting off on the far left corner, you will see that I have this little, like, jewelry box that says Colorado on it because that's the state I live in. And if you open it up, there is this, like, bunny that, like, comes apart. I don't really know what it is, um, but it comes apart. And then you have this one rock that says love and this other rock that says faith. I don't know where this is from, so I'm sorry if you guys are interested in this. I don't know where it's from, but it looks pretty old, so I don't even know if I knew where it was from, if you could find it. The first book on the shelf is Weird Little Robots by Carolyn Kermie, and it's illustrated by Corina Lewinkin. A Tale of Magic by Chris Colfer. The Star Spun Web by Sanine Odehart. Nevermore, The Trials of Morgan Crow by Jessica Townsend. Wondersmith, The Calling of Morgan Crow by Jessica Townsend. The School for Good and Evil by Somaine Chiani. I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, so I apologize. I.V. Aberdeen's Letters to the World by Ashley Herring Blake. And then you have the entire Keeper of the Lost City series, which right now I only have up to book seven, but I do plan to eventually get eight and nine whenever they are out. Well, I mean, Legacies, of, the eighth book's already out, but I don't own it yet. Starting off, you have Keeper of the Lost Cities by Shannon Messenger. Exile by Shannon Messenger. Everblaze by Shannon Messenger. Never Seen. Lodestar. Nightfall. And Flashback, which are all by Shannon Messenger. And then over on the right side of my middle grade shelf, I have this stuff, uh, Lamb. It's actually like my great-grandmother's, and I just have it on here. 
The next book is The Forgive Me Not Summer by Leela Howland. Then you have The Brightest Stars of Summer by Leela Howland. Next you have Randy Rhodes Ninja Detective, The Case of the Time Capsule Bandit. And The Sweetest Heist in History, both of which are by Octavia Spencer. Yes, that Octavia Spencer. We then have Out of My Mind by Sharon M. Drapper. This is one of my favorite middle grades. Next, you have Artemis Fowl by Owen Colfer. You then have the entire Percy Jackson and the Olympian series, starting with The Lightning Thief, The Sea of Monsters, The Titan's Curse, the Battle of the Lab Labyrinth, and The Last Olympian. Then the final book on the shelf is Wonderlight Unicorns in the Mist by R.R. Russell. The only things that are located underneath the middle grade shelf are, is this, um, like, It Chapter 2, like, collector's thing. I've never seen It Chapter 2, but it's just like this empty like box thing and it's got uh, Pennywise on it and I just keep that there. It was a birthday gift. And then right here I actually have some special like bookish items that I will show you. Um, I just have this like, uh, like jelly thing that my friend gave me back in 6th grade for a Valentine's gift. Then we have a whole bunch of photos, and I have an extra Gushiverse passport. I then have this uh, Walt Disney thing that I don't know where I got it from. I think it was probably on a Disney cruise, but I'm not 100% sure on that. And then I have this Dumbo drawing, which I also, I did get this on a cruise ship from 2017. I have this art page that is from the Thorns and All Fay Crate book box that I actually have a video on, so if I remember, I will leave that linked down below. This is like the art that's on the book box. I have a DVC, like, you stick them off and they're really cool things. Then I have a special, like, all gold cover of uh, Capturing the Devil, and I have a print for the Capturing the Devil, uh, Audrey and Thomas's wedding. And the final thing I have on here is the uh, book cover art for Crescent City or House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J. Mass. So, moving on to the next shelf, I have the, just the top of that specific bookshelf. I'm going to have to hold you guys up for this one, too, because my tripod isn't tall enough, even if it's stacked on an ottoman. And I don't feel comfortable leaving it there, so I'm going to have to hold it for you guys, and it's not tall enough anyways. But up here, I have this, like, pottery thing that my granny took me to paint when I was up to visit her. I painted this. It's a fairy. And then over here, you have a unicorn that I painted as well, if you can't tell, because I liked color and I went a little wild and it has my nickname on its feet as well hooves on its hooves I also then have these little bookends because I don't have a lot of books on the shelf I have these bookends that came with the thorns and all book box that hold up the few, the few books that I actually have up here the first book up here is children of blood and bone by Tommy Eddie the cruel prince by Holly Black everything everything by Nicola Yoon Eyes Like Stars by Lisa, but it's always pronounced Lisa Manchinev, I think. Not 100% sure on that. And then have the complete first edition of the original folk and fairy tales of Brothers Grimm, and this is illustrated by Jack Zips. Zips. Oh, sorry, that was translated. It's illustrated by Andrea DeCio. I'm sorry. We then have a Teen Wolf book, which is called On Fire by Nancy Holder. Mom got this for me because I wasn't super into reading back like in 2017 or something, so she got this for me in hopes that I would read it. I think I've got 40 pages into it, and that's it. It's not very good. Uh, then you have The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. Zenith by Sasha Alsberg and Lindsay Cummings. And Bully Boy by... Uh, Michael Christopher. My dad got this for me. 
I haven't read it, but it's 100 pages, so maybe I will eventually. The next shelf you have is my Sarah J Mass shelf, and uh, let's go over the knickknacks first before we get into anything else, because I have quite a few, as you can see. We will start left from right. So first thing over here is my rye sand or re-sand plushie. I got this from the Thorns and All book box by Fade Crate. I then have this cute little I love you like wooden, you close it and you open it. I don't really know what it's called, but my aunt and my aunt gave this to me, I think like a, like a, a long time ago, like over 3 years ago she gave this to me. I don't really know what it is, but or where I got it, but there you go. I then have two patches, one which is Spy Master, which is for Azriel, and I have one that is Commander, which is for Cassian. These are just patches, but I don't have them on anything because I like them on my bookshelf better. And these are also from the Fae Crate Thorns and All book box. I then have this little pin that is from the Fake Crate book box as well, as you guys can see. And it just has all of the quartz on it, and I don't put it on display. I just keep it in the bag, but that's that. Oops. Then have this little, um, whatever these are called. They were back when they were really popular. Uh, squishy? Are they called squishies? I don't know. But my friend gave this to me. It has a name and I don't remember it, but my friend who we, we, she read Shadow and Bone and that's how we became friends. So she gave this to me and she let me have it and it sits on my Sarah J Mass bookshelf. The final knickknack I have is actually a Sarah J Mass Embers of Memory Throne of Glass card game. This is on the uh, Bloomsbury website, I think is where you can buy it. All I know is I clicked a link and that's how I got it. So I'm not really sure what website it's on, but I know it is a Bloomsbury website. I, I mean, I'm pretty sure. And this is just a card game based on the Thrones of Glass series. And my mom was like, well, if I buy this, you're going to have to play it. And I was like, oh, I definitely will. I have yet to play it, so... We will start on the left side of my shelf and go to the right with the books. The first book on here is House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J. Mass, or everyone else calls it Crescent City, so Crescent City. I then have the hardback edition of Court of Thorns and Roses. A Court of Mist and Fury. A Court of Wings and Ruin. And A Court of Frost and Starlight. I then have the box that this edition, which is the special edition of A Court of Thrones and Roses came in. I, then, I just have the box sitting out while this is on display. I then have the paperback edition of A Court of Thorns and Roses, A Court of Mist and Fury, and A Court of Wings and Ruin. I then have The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J Maas, Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas, Crown of Midnight, Air of Fire, Queen of Shadows, Empire of Storms, Tower of Dawn, Kingdom of Ash, and my final book on the shelf is Catwoman, which is her DC Icons book by of Sarah J Mass, you know, yeah, I mean, I mean, that's so weird, but yes, this is the last book on the shelf. All right, moving on. Starting off with knickknacks, going left to right, you have my Nikolai plushie. I actually like this plushie a lot more than my Ryseland plushie, so I have this Nikolai plushie, and I got him from the Saint and Scars Illumicrate book box. I also have a video on that, and so I will link that down below in the description box if I remember as well. 
And then I have this Grisha Verse passport that I had that I have like two of. And if you open it up, it's actually signed and stamped by Lee Bardugo and the tour and stuff like that. Next thing I have are these enamel pin sets. There is a heart render. This is the one with all the Grishas on it. And then there is a Nikolai Landstoff pin as well. I have not opened these. I have not put them along with my pin collection, which I do have a pin collection. So if you want to see that, feel free to tell me in the comment section down below. And I will get on to making that video for you guys. So, uh, yes, I don't put those with these because these are different and special pins. Next thing I have is the, uh, like, printed card that Lee Bardugo signed for a thank you for going to the tour. So, yeah. I then have this Ravkin Myths candle. It's also from the Illumicrate box. And honestly, it doesn't smell that great. Like, it's not my favorite scent, and the only candles I really like are the ones from the Magic, the Disney Magic Candle Company, because uh, they make candles that smell like Disney. But I do think this is a very pretty candle, even though I don't like the smell of it. I then have a coffee cup that says one could plot violent espionage and still hope for dessert. And when you tip it over, I have a bunch of pins that come out. I have a Darkling and Sun Summoner pin. And I also have a pin for each of the Grisha homes. If that's what you call them. And then this is a sticky note from when I went to school. I used it once, and it just sits up there. It's nothing special. I got this cup from the Illumicrate book box, and I got the pins from her King of Scars book tour. I then have a Feed Your Demons cookie, and yes, this is from February 2019. Um... We got two of them because my mom also bought a ticket, and my mom and I split the first one, and it wasn't super good, so I just keep this one on my shelf. And you know, this is probably disgusting, but it's not, it's still, it's still there. It's not moving. I then have this collector's pin that says King of Scars on it, which is super cool. I have a, another, uh, I have another one of these that, yeah, and then there's also a photo of me and my mom from the tour. Now, next, real quick, I'm just going to show you guys this uh, photogra photograph I have. Photograph. Uh, this photograph I have, it is a wool photograph, but right here is actually just a postcard. It's like an image or something. My granny uh, gave this to me, like this for my birthday or something she gave this to me and it was already in this frame and everything and it just fit, fit perfectly because I absolutely adore wolves and then right here is a photo of me having the time of my life at the King of Scars book tour. Moving on to books. You have... Whoa. Okay, I'm just gonna move that pink up for safety reasons. First, you have A Ninth House by Lee Bardugo, which this is actually the only book that I have yet to read from her. Actually, no, that's wrong. It's not the only book I haven't read from her. You have Six of Crows. Crooked Kingdom. This is the other book that I haven't read. I got 100 pages in and then I DNF'd it because it's not that interesting in my opinion. And I hate Nina, so I just like to be controversial. I then have Language of Thorns. Fun fact, I read this before I even read the original Grisha verse. Yep, that's what I did. I then have a collector's edition of King of Scars. I actually got this from the same Saints and Scars Illumicrate book box. And when you take, it, this is like a different printing of the cover, and when you take this off, instead of it being black and gold, it is gold and black. And on the side it has, the monster is me and I am the monster. Then have two 
original printing signed editions of King of Scars. When you open up this one, you can see it's to Madison, and this is the one that I read and DNF'd. Um, and then over here, this is just another one, and it is also signed to me. Then you have Shadow and Bone, Siege and Storm, Rune and Rising, and then you have her The Severed Moon, A Year-Long Journey of Magic, also known as a journal. I thought this was actually a book. It wasn't, so imagine my surprise when I paid like $10 for it. I was very disappointed. Next up is the shelf right under my Lee Bardugo shelf. This has no specific rhyme or reason. It just looks nice, so this is how it is. As usual, we'll start off with the knickknacks going left to right. Right here is actually a photo of my, I guess, like, technically is my step-nephew. But this is a photo of him. I'm the first one he said I love you to, so... <laughs> I will always put that in his mother's face. <laughs> I'm kidding. But I was very special. Um, right here is a stuffed unicorn. His name is Trunks. And he is a f he was born four days before uh, my birthday, so that's exciting. And my granny gave this to me, and I was really obsessed with it when I first got it. I got it when I was, like, 13, so, you know, still obsessed with it. And it just sits on my bookshelf now because it's cute. I then have a bookmark based on the Leviathan Prince. I got this when the author sent me the first book for a giveaway that I won. So I just have a little bookmark based on that book. And then I have this dog, which is like those machines, like at restaurants or whatever, you put a penny in and then you twist the thing and it brings like a little ball of like a toy or something in it. This is what I got and it's just a little dog and it's kind of old if it'll... Not focus on the books, focus on this. It's very, it looks very old, and it is quite old, because the last time I went to Missouri uh, with my granny was multiple years ago. But it's a little beagle, and I absolutely adore beagles. The final thing on this shelf is this pottery painted um, cat, and my granny painted this for me, and she actually gave it to me. So, there's that. <gasps> there's a heart on it! I didn't even see that! That's the first time I've ever realized there's a heart on this thing. How cute. The first book I have on this shelf is Bridge, Bridge? Is Bridge of Clay by Marcus Suzak. I actually won this. It is an ARC copy, as you can see. I actually won this from my library for a lunch book club that the uh, li librarian did. She came to my school, and I won this book. I was very excited. It was my first ever ARC, so I know I didn't like it wasn't sent to me, but I won it, and I was very excited the rest of the day. Yeah. Yep, I went into the class afterward, after lunch, and I was screaming that. Then I have the Barnes and School... Yep, I went into lunch afterwards, and I was just over running around the room like, ah, I got an arc! Woo! Nobody knew what I was talking about, but I did that. The next book is uh, Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha... Gann, maybe? This is the Barnes and uh, Noble exclusive edition. It's the red edition is how it's exclusive, super pretty, and it also has a annotated scene. I couldn't read that last word. After that, you have Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco. Hunting Prince Dracula by Carrie Maniscalco. Escaping from Houdini by Carrie Maniscalco. Capturing the Devil by Carrie Maniscalco, a book that I DNF'd, as you can tell, because I stopped annotating. Maybe if I didn't annotate books, I wouldn't DNF them. After my Carrie Maniscalco, <laughs> after my Carrie Maniscalco stack, you have an absolutely remarkable thing by Hank Green, and it's a Barnes and Noble book club edition as well. And it sucks that I have this because I don't like Hank Green anymore. I don't want to support him, but I still have his book, so I guess I should read it, right? Right. I then have a special edition of Kingdom of Souls by Renna Baron. This is from the September 
Illumicrate book box from 2019. I think my mom surprised me and got me this for my birthday. This is one of my favorite books of last year, and I want the original copy of this book, but haven't gotten it yet, so maybe next time I do a bookshelf tour, I'll have two copies of the same book. I already have multiple copies of the same book, but maybe this time this book will have one as well. I then have The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. The Phoenix Host. And The Lathiathan Prince, both of which are by C.K. Miller. I have Always Never Yours by Emily Wibberley and Austin Siegeman Broca. Yes, I have a, I have a, I have a YA uh, contemporary on here. I know. I'm surprised. I'm just as surprised as you. Next, I have Kingdom of Exiles by Maximum M. Martino. The Wife Between Us by Gre Greer Hendricks and Sarah Perkinen. Next, have the first five books in the Restore Me, nope, in the Shatter Me series. Wow. I have Shatter Me, Unravel Me, Ignite Me, Restore Me, and Defy Me, all of which are by Tahara Mafi. I then have The Poppy War by R.F. Kong. I think is how you pronounce his name. I'm, her name, I'm not 100% sure. Everland by Wendy Spinelli. And Umperland, also by Wendy Spinelli. I have Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. Rebel of the Sands by Aloween Hamilton. The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert. Moon Chosen by PC Cast. The Kiss of Deception. The Heart of Betrayal. And The Beauty of Darkness, all by Mary E. Pearson. And the final book on this shelf is An Enchantment of Ravens by Margaret Robertson. Moving on to the next shelf, which I have to hold my camera for. Yeah. This is the shelf right under the previous shelf. And we'll start off with the knickknacks. As usual, going left from right, which I only have two on here. So this will be a quick little segment. I really don't want to hold the camera. The first knickknack I have on here is another painted pottery. This is a dog that I painted. You can tell because it's got my nickname on it. And uh, yeah, it's hurt. I painted it with a with blood dripping down its leg. Um, yep, that's what I did. But it's also very ugly. Um, yeah, they had a lot of colors to pick from, and I couldn't pick one. So this is what the dog looks like. They don't have names, but that's what that's what it looks like. I then have this cup, which is from the same Illumicrate book box that Kingdom of Souls was from. This is supposed to be uh, Zelly from Children of Blood and Bone, but I don't like Zelly, so we act like it's not Zelly, because I don't like her. Moving on, we will start off with the book, the first the books in this corner, and we'll move to the the right. You know, like we've been doing this entire video. Um, Paper Princess. Broken Prince. Twisted Palace. Fallen Air. Cracked Kingdom. And When It's Real, all of which are by Aaron Watt. You then have Flawed and Perfect um, by Cecilia Ahern. I then have Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zappia. And Your Welcome Universe by Whitney Gardner, both of which I loved.
I then have My Lady Jane by Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows, also known as The Lady Janies. And I have its sequel, My Plain Jane, also by The Lady Janies. I then have The Darkest Minds, Never Fade, In the Afterlight, and Through the Dark, all of which are by Alexandra Bracken. Next, I have Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson. The Lies of Luck Lamora by Scott Lynch. This is actually the 10th anniversary edition of this book as well. I have the Dorothy Must Die series by Danielle Page, which includes Dorothy Must Die, The Wicked Will Rise, The Yellow Brick War, and The End of Oz. I also have Divergent by Veronica Roth. The Diviners by Libba Bray. Serpent and Dove by Shelby Mahurin. The Similars by Rebecca Hanover. And a YA romance. Wow. A Kiss in the Dark. The final four books on this shelf are in the Maze Runner series, which consists of The Maze Runner, The Scorch Trials, The Death Cure, and The Kill Order, all of which are by James Dashner. Okay. This shelf has no knickknacks because it's the bottom shelf, so why wouldn't it be knickknacks? And we're going to start off going left to right. You guys know the drill by now. The first book on this shelf is I Can't Make This Up, Life Lessons by Kevin Hart. Through the Eyes of Hope by Lacey Buchanan with Bethany Jett. Shoe Dog by Philip Knight. Be Our Guest. This is a Disney uh, customer service book and it's written by Theodore Kinney or it's Wit Helped. It's, it was, I think it was, I think it was written by Theodore Kinney, but I'm not sure. So, the more you know. The Deaf Community in America, History in the Making by Melvia M. Nomlin and Ronald E. Nomlin. Forward by Trudy Suggs. So have Act Like a Success, Think Like a Success by Steve Harvey. I have read this book and I liked it. I would recommend it if you guys are curious because kick those people out of your wagon if they ain't helping you. You then have Rosemary the Hidden Kennedy Daughter by Kate Clifford Larson. You have The Shack by W.M. Paul Young. You uh, have this book. This is my mom's book. Um, and I, it's the, the, the no, the, yep, you know. Yep, okay, all right, moving on. A lot of those books were my mom's books. The only ones that I've read was the Steve Harvey book and Through the Eyes of Hope. I'm interested in Be Our Guest and The Deaf Community is my book. But the other ones are my mom's. Then you have Lane Moriarty's Three Wishes, Mass Market Paperback Edition. And you have Stephen King's The Shining. This is actually my second Stephen King novel that I own. And this is the second to the... Th this is the second to last Steve King, Stephen King book I will ever buy, and I already bought, um, because I do would not want to support Stephen King anymore, because I don't like him as a person, so I don't want to support him as an author. I then have Stephen King's It. I will eventually read this. I got a while, and maybe I'll use it for toilet paper before. And then I have his on-writing memoir. I hated this thing. <laughs> Didn't find it helpful one bit. I then have Truth Witch by Susan Dennard. I DNF this book. Maybe I'll try it again later. I have Uprooted by Naomi Novik. 
Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead. Alice in Zombieland by Gina Showalter. Traitor's Blade by Se Sebastian de Castell. To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. The Last Good Day of the Year by Jessica Warman. The Queen's Poisoner by Jeff Wheeler. Prince Charming by Rochelle Hawkins. To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Hahn. P.S. I Like You by Casey West. I then have a Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. The Raven Boys by Maggie Steve Otter. The Silent Wife by Carrie Fisher. The Lovely Bones by Alice Siebold. All the Missing Girls by Megan Miranda. Sourdough by Robin Salone. The Apocalypse of Alina Mendoza by Sean David Hutchinson, a book I DNF'd. Blood of Fire, we can't see it all. Blood of Fire by Marlo York. And the final book I have on the shelf is Girls Made of Snow and Glass by Melissa Basherdouse. Okay, guys, that's going to be the end of this video. I promise you that I actually had a clip where I filmed once my camera battery and camera, my camera card, whatever it's called, I'm blanking. When that filled up, I filmed a video on my phone that I intended to put here, but I've lost it on my computer, and I just want to be done editing this video because, my goodness, I hate it. I hate it so much. How do you guys do these all every year sometimes? I don't understand. Anyway, I'm going to go. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up. And subscribe down below because I post videos on this channel every single Monday. And so, I will see you guys all Monday for another video. And hey, do not forget that I am still your freaking bulldozer. Bye, guys.